Hi, I'm Christina from The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create, and help others to do the same. I love to go junkin' and find old windows, but my favorite thing of all is old vintage screens, kind of like this, the wooden ones, and they're really hard to find. And if you want to use it as is in your home decor, that's fine, go ahead and do so. But I have an easy project for you that I think you're gonna love. If you're looking for old screens, I do have quite a few, depending on when you're watching this video, at my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. I know they will go quick, so if you're interested, make sure to stop by. You can also check your local ReStore places and Habitat for Humanity. And sometimes if you just ask your neighbors, if you see they're getting new windows put on, they'll even let you have them. For this project, obviously you're gonna need an old screen. I'm also gonna be using a JRV stencil. I know you can't see it, but I promise I'll hold it up once I get some paint on it. This is the grain stencil. I use JRV stencils because they're five times thicker than any other stencil and they're just the best. You can get JRV stencils at shoptheturnedleg.com. First thing you're gonna do is decide where you want your stencil to go. And then I highly recommend using some blue painter's tape to hold it in place while you work. It's really important that your stencil doesn't move. You also might want to measure so you make sure that it's completely lined up. And I'm going to put, put a little bit of tape on all four sides. Next, you're going to need some paint. For this project, I'm going to be using DIY White Swan. DIY paint is an all-natural clay-based paint that is, has no VOCs, it's water-based, and it's the best. I love it. I'm also going to be using my JRV stencil brush. I like to keep my paint in these Fifle bottles, first in, first out. Whenever I want to paint, I just squeeze a little bit of paint right on a paper plate and I can get started. When you are stenciling, you really want to make sure you're holding down the stencil too because the screen is flexible. You also might want to apply two coats of paint just to make sure that the color is showing through onto the screen. Stenciling is complete, really simple. I'm not even gonna wait for it to dry. I usually take off my stencil a little bit early just to check it. I'm gonna pull it off, big reveal time. Let's see, let's hope it worked. Oh, I like it. What do you think? Now, if you have anywhere where your paint went out of the stencil or maybe you went over the edge, DIY paint is really forgiving paint. It's really easy to remove before it's set. All you gotta do is take like a wet washcloth and just wipe away wherever it is that you don't want it to be. That works for clothes and floors too. That's one of the many reasons why I love DIY paint. Let's take a look. You can seal this if you want to, if you're gonna have it outside. You might wanna spray it with an outdoor sealer, like spar urethane has been highly recommended. Um, or you could spray it with a regular, you know, spray Rust-Oleum sealer if you're using it indoors, but you do not have to unless it's gonna get in contact with moisture and water. You can just leave it as is and hang it wherever you want. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Doing so helps me to continue to make more videos to show people how to salvage, repurpose, and create.